Hey everybody and welcome back. In this episode we're going to look at how to add cutscenes to our game and this will be the final video in the tutorial section of this series. So let's get cracking with this. Before we get started a huge thank you to everyone who subscribed and hit the notification icon that's very helpful to me and of course a huge thank you to my patrons and members your names will run across the bottom of the screen at the end of this video. If you are interested in supporting the channel then you can either visit the Patreon in the description below or you can simply become a member of this channel by hitting the join button next to the subscribe button. So we've already got a script in our game that allows us to move forward through the sequences of events and we've got a number of um, files which contain the default information and the information that happens if we click on our vid on our characters in a specific part of the game but what happens if we want an event to trigger as soon as we move on to the next stage of the game now what we can do is a really simple script that says if renpy dot has underscore label and then we're going to have to put in in commas like that and we're going to have to create a string that we're going to be checking for now the first thing i want to put in is event like that and what we can actually do is create a string here so we're just going to put um event check like that and we're going to create a string so this is going to be event underscore like that now we're going to say plus then we're going to say str let's say chapter and then we're going to say plus again underscore and then we're going to say plus str sequence like that so what we're going to say is that if a label exists called event underscore chapter underscore sequence then we can do something so we're just going to say events check like that and if it exists then we're going to call expression events check and then immediately after we're going to run our next script again like so now what this means is that if we are in uh, chapter one sequence zero like this and we were to put label event one underscore zero here it would immediately call that label and then it would move on so we'd lose lose all of this so what you need to bear in mind when you're creating an event is that that is going to happen so you so for example we've got a one underscore zero and we've got a one underscore one so if we wanted to put a cutscene in we would have to either create a zero zero and then change the chapter to zero or something along those lines anyway so the re the, i'll just quickly demonstrate what we're going to have to do in order to so we're going to have to create a new file and we're going to call this uh one underscore two dot rpy and we'll say label event underscore one underscore two like so and then there in there so we we put that in like so now the reason that we're putting this the next event in after this check is because if we don't every single time we interact with the ui inside of this one underscore two chapter and sequence frame it's going to call this and we don't want that to happen we wanted to play the cutscene once and then move on to the next part of the story so you need to make sure that you're not adding anything else there's got to be nothing else inside of this whole um, one underscore two event file this is all you're going to put in there and we can just put in there like so and that's all we need to do so now when we get to event one underscore one when we complete the event required to move on to the next part of our sequence it's going to play a cutscene, and then it will move to one underscore three so the next interactive part of the game will be in a new file again and this will be one underscore three 
rpy and then we can copy and paste our other bits and pieces here so we'll just pop those in there go into one underscore three and then obviously we would change these to one underscore three one underscore three one underscore three like that and that is really all there is to it it was nice and simple but that just goes to show you how powerful this engine this framework that we've built can be and it's really that simple um, there's a lot of different ways that you can expand upon what we've done you can have picking up an item in a specific uh, time frame we're going to call these time frames one underscore zero one underscore one one underscore two and one underscore three because that's essentially what they are with relevant to the game engine you can have it so that when you talk to a specific person so for example here we're talking to the mum character and once we finish that conversation it moves on to the next part of the sequence and that's really all there is to it i hope you found that useful guys let me know what you think in the comments below and if you haven't already done so subscribe and hit that notification icon and i'll see you in the next one take care of yourselves guys bye bye